Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I thought for today's video it would be really fun to do a Halloween haul of all of the goodies I rounded up this year. Anything I can find a link for, I'll be sure to leave down below in the description box. I'll also be sure to point out anything that is still on the shelves now. But before we get started, if you are new here, be sure to subscribe down below and don't forget to turn on that notification bell. We're starting off with this big puffball jack-o'-lantern pillow because he just makes me smile every time I look at him. He is just so fun and silly looking. I actually ordered this one from TJ Maxx. I believe it was $16.99. It might be sold out on the website, but you might be able to find this one in the store still. Next up is this plush skeleton that I ordered from the Marshalls website. He's made out of this really soft velvet material and then all of the bones are just printed on. The reason I got him was because a few years ago, you might remember, Target did this really awesome plush skeleton. I ended up not buying it and then I regretted it ever since. So when I saw this one, I thought he would be a really good replacement. If you guys saw my home goods shop with me, you might remember this felt bat. I think I said I was going to pick him up in the video. I just could not pass up on that sweet face. I just love it. And I've been collecting these felt characters that Marshalls and Home Goods has been putting out for a few years now, so I thought this one would be a great addition to the collection. Knitted Ghost is actually something that has been on my wish list for a few years now. So this one is also from Home Goods. And I had spotted him a few years ago in other people's videos, but I could never find it in person. And I was so excited to see him on the shelf this year. He definitely had to come home with me. This jack-o'-lantern man was the first new Halloween decoration that I actually picked up this year. I believe this was all the way back in July. I did share him in my home goods shop with me. He was just so cute. I really love the vintage look on his face, but he is just a really sweet decoration. I ordered this large ghost pillow from Sierra, but I do know that people have been seeing him in Marshalls and TJ Maxx as well as Home Goods. so be on the lookout if you like this guy. He's really sweet. They actually have a couple different versions of it. This is the larger one. They also have a smaller one and a girl ghost as well. This plush spider is another Home Goods find. I feel like I did get a lot of pieces from Home Goods this year. A lot of the stores really raise their prices, but I feel like you can still find a really good bargain at Home Goods and Marshalls. This one, I believe, was $9.99, so definitely not too pricey. And he has a really, really cute face on him. How cute is this Snoopy? So I picked him up at the Hallmark store and I believe he is definitely still in stock. So I picked him up in store, but you can also order him online. I'll leave a link down below for him. And this is Snoopy as the Wear Beagle. He is adorable. And actually, if you press his foot, he does dance and howl, which is just the sweetest thing. This is kind of different from my typical decor but I do love werewolves and I thought that this one was just so sweet and I love how he just moves his arms and howls. Skeleton Pumpkin is another home goods find. This is part of those felt characters that they do every year and he is just a really fun piece. I love that you can turn it over to the back if you just want the plain pumpkin or when you're ready for Halloween, you can switch it over to this skeleton face here. I love just the simple black and white color. He's a little bit spooky, but really cute. You guys have been with me for some time on my channel. You will already know that I am witch obsessed, especially around Halloween time. So when I saw this witch room at Home Goods, there was no question that I was picking it up. It has such a unique look to it and it was only $16.99, which I think is a really great price for this piece. It is all hand carved wood, so each one is unique and has its own little special details but this was definitely a top find for me this year. I am so happy to add this to my growing witch collection. Ghost Area Rug was another one that I did miss out on last year, but was able to snag pretty early on in the season this year. I believe I ordered this one in July and I wanna say it was from Marshalls, I'm pretty sure. They had this one as well as a spider one, but honestly, I am not going to be using this as an area rug. I think it is way too cute. So I'm going to figure out a way that I can hang it on the wall like a tapestry. I have a little bit of a theme going here because I also got this area rug that I am planning on using also as a tapestry. So I just have to figure out a way to hang it from the wall. If anyone has any tips or suggestions, please let me know down below in the comments because I really do not know how I'm going to hang it up yet 
but I love this one. I think the skeletons are really cute. It is from Joann's. They're holding hands, which is just so sweet and romantic. And it does say that it is double-sided, so you can choose which side to display. Another Joann's find was this fabric. I actually have plans to turn these into pillowcases, probably for my bedroom. In my bedroom, I like to keep the Halloween decor a little bit lighter and brighter, so I feel like these would work really fun as accent pillows. Next up, I'm going to be sharing a lot of Target Halloween finds, and I believe most of these are still in stock, so be sure to check the description box for links for these ones. The first is these goblets. How cool are they? I think that these would just make the most amazing cocktail glasses for a Halloween party. They are stainless steel and hand wash only, but they are stunning. This skull candy dish is from that same Threshold Halloween collection and is only $10 and is still in stock, so I'll be sure to leave a link for this one. Great quality for $10, has a lot of good details, a really good weight to it, and you can definitely fit a lot of candy in the back of it here. One of my top finds. Next, I have a few items from the Halloween dollar spot section at Target. The first is this little snake dish. So they don't let you buy the bullseye playground items on the Target website anymore. They used to let you, but supposedly they did stop that. So these ones will be in store only, but hopefully they are still in stock. That snake dish was only $5. And this little haunted house is also $5. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one yet, but I thought it was just so adorable. I might just end up putting a faux candle in it or maybe some little Halloween characters. This picture frame is also from the Target dollar spot, only $5 as well. They had a couple different ones. They had one in the shape of a coffin that I almost bought, but I decided just to get this one here. I really like the arch shape to it. Really fun and different. This bat pillow is also from Target, and this is that same Threshold collection. This one was $20. The front has the bats embroidered on black velvet, and the back just has a tan canvas color. This bat picture frame is from Home Goods, and I actually just picked this one up last week, so hopefully they still have some in stock. Really adorable for only $4.99. I really saved the best for last with these last two items. So the first is this Hocus Pocus book, and this is from the Spirit Halloween store. I do believe this one is still available online as well. So if you want to order it from Spirit, or you can just go in person. I picked this one up in person. It was $14.99, and it is just absolutely beautiful. If you are a Hocus Pocus fan, trust me, you are going to want to pick this one up. So it is a journal when you open up the first page. It has the saying on it, and then all the other pages look just like this, but it is just so stunning. I'm just going to be using it as a decor piece. Now for the last item, it is also from the Spirit Halloween store, and this is the Haunted Mansion Lantern. I believe this is a new piece for this year. I have never seen it before, but I did see a few people with this online, and the second I saw it, I was on the hunt for it. They did sell out on the Spirit website, but they do still have them in person, hopefully depending on the store and location, but I was able to pick this one up at the store, and you can actually open it up and put a faux candle inside, and the images are just stunning. I was so excited to find this one. And that is everything in my Halloween haul for 2022. What do you guys think? How did your shopping go this year? Did you pick up anything or were you really on the lookout for something special? Let me know down below in the comments. I tried to be good this year and not add too many pieces to my collection, but I ended up adding quite a few more than I was planning on, but I really do love all of the items that I found this year. Thank you guys so much for watching.